Would everyone please stand? Good afternoon, everyone. We welcome you to this marriage ceremony for Caesar and Rachel. We are grateful for family and friends who have taken their time to come celebrate this great day with, the, with uh, us as we marry them off. We are particularly uh, like to recognize the grandparents here as well as uh, the parents uh, Caesar's parents, Caesar and Laura, and Rachel's parents, Edie, uh, Nora, Nor Notaro, and John Humbles as her stepfather, and her dad, Robert Vasco. My name is uh, Bishop Jeff Simon, and it is an honor and a privilege to be here today to celebrate this great day. Today, Caesar and Rachel will make the most significant and meaningful promise and commitment they can make to another person on this earth. Marriage is an institution which provides for sacred companionship. The parties to a marriage covenant agree to invite God into their marriage, to keep wants, passions within certain limits. It means to be equal companions and to be just as true and pure outside the home as inside the home. Marriage cannot be achieved without a commitment to make it work. And while I have Caesar and Rachel's attention for a minute, I'd like to share a couple things I've learned about marriage. I doubt we're all actually perfect at these, but uh, we try, and I'm confident our lives and our marriages will be enriched when we strive to live these principles. The first is a good relationship and great marriage will be determined by the small things. Selfishness is at the root of every problem marriage. Watch carefully how you treat each other. Choose wisely the way you talk to each other. Act lovingly in what you do for each other. Also remember, you're never too old to hold hands. <laughs> Develop a short memory. Small differences of opinion aren't worth turning into an argument. Forgive and forget those unimportant things that bother you. Bring your best to the, to the relationship. Here's some do's and don'ts. Don't be jealous, controlling, selfish, or silent. Do not be offended and resist the temptation to say hurtful things to one another. Do be happy, uh, serve each other, support each other, and take care of each other. Marriage isn't a 50-50 deal, it's a 100-100 deal. Mm. Set goals. Continue to set goal, worthwhile goals and work towards them as a married couple. Uh, be charitable to others as you serve one another as well. I would ask that you always treat yourself and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together today. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your marriage deserves. When frustration and difficulty assail a marriage, as they do in every relationship at one time or another, focus on what still seems right about your relationship, not just the part that seems wrong. I recently read a wonderful story about a man and woman in their marriage. They'd been married 50 plus years. When they got married, they were just poor college students, didn't have anything, to even set up an apartment. So they registered for many things at the store. One of the things they regist registered for was silverware. They didn't get it. So throughout the years, they saved money for a really nice set of silverware and one day got it. 
and it was a service of four that she, the wife took great care of. When it was, tarn when it was tarnished, she would uh, clean it, make it really brand new again. If uh, one of the kids got a hold of it, uh, they didn't have it very long. She got it right back. There was no digging in the sand out back with the silverware. Uh, over the years, he was amazed, the husband, at how the care his wife took for this set of silverware. And one day after 50 plus years, this man realized what his wife had known for a long time, that you've ha you have something special and that silverware was very special to them, that you want it to last forever, that you treat it differently, that you shield and protect it, that you never abuse it. You don't expose it to the elements and you don't make it common or ordinary. If it ever becomes tarnished, you lovingly polish it until it gleams like new. It becomes very special because you have made it so and it grows more beautiful and precious as time goes by. It is my hope that Caesar and Rachel will treasure their marriage and love each other more each day as they serve one another. Now at this time, Rachel would like to say a few words followed by Caesar. Caesar, I love you. You're my best friend. Today, I, Rachel, commit myself to you. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, to comfort you. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in highest regard. These things I give to you now and forever. <clears throat> Rachel, I love you. You're my best friend. Today I, Caesar, commit myself to you. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you and comfort you. I promise to be the true to you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple, when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you forever and now. At this time, they have a unity candle that Rachel and Caesar would like to light, as well as a presentation of the uh, love lock. So we'll do that right now.
everyone here is ready for the ceremony, so we'll do it. If I could have Rachel and Caesar come right here and take each other by the right hand. Caesar Jimenez II and Rachel Lynn Vasco, you have taken one another by the right hand in token of the covenants you will now enter into in the presence of God and these witnesses. Caesar Jimenez II, do you take Rachel Lynn Vasco as your lawfully wedded wife, and do you of your own free will and choice covenant as her companion and lawfully wedded husband to cleave unto her and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live. I do. Rachel Lynn Vasco, do you take Caesar Jimenez II as your lawfully wed wedded husband, and do you of your own free will and choice covenant as his companion and lawfully, le lawfully wedded wife that you will cleave unto him and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live. Absolutely, I do. <laughs> <laughs> By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you, Caesar Jimenez II, and you, Rachel Lynn Vasco, husband and wife, lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity and a long life of happiness together, and he, may he enable you to keep sacred covenants you have made. These blessings I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You may kiss each other as husband and wife. Amen. They do have rings that they will exchange with one another now. I thought they had something cooking a little different. I wasn't sure. I'll try it on again. A replay for everybody. <laughs> Just in case you missed it. <laughs> Please congratulate Caesar and Rachel one more time. She's coming. And, um, oh, wait, Caesar, do it one more time. I want to get a close up. Just yeah, give her, give her to my mom and tell <laughs> mom I'll be right in. So much trouble. Yeah. Like okay. It? Yeah. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. 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 You're just the, the wind. What can you do about the wind? That's yeah, okay. Okay. First witness. Me. No, me. Rough right here. 
right here. And then down right here. Second witness. Mr. Joseph. Well, it's not official yet. Right there. Better make this appear. <laughs> Who wants the uh, coffee can I'm done signing? Um, <laughs> Go ahead. I'll bring it up to you. you guys can go. You, know, awesome. you, guys, you guys are done. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. We are in Scottsdale, aren't we? Yeah.